Hi, I'm David, this is Rick, and we're going to show you how to install the new WeatherTech tonneau cover on my 2015 F-150 pickup truck. You know, David, one of the reasons people put tonneau covers on their truck is not only just because they want to protect the bed, but it also gives added security for what's inside. But I think the great thing about the WeatherTech roll top tonneau cover is, is the ease of installation, and it's priced right. So opening the box, we're going to help you not buy two tonneau covers. We're going to use a pair of diagonal cutters to open the box. Put that on the table. And then you'll also notice that there are two rails that will come, one for each side of the bed that the tonneau cover will actually close into. There also is a bag of hardware there, which is the seal for the front of the bed. And then of course the bracket kit that will help with the install as well as the instructions. And you'll notice that there are aluminum brackets. There'll be three for each side that you will use to secure the brackets on the outside bed. All the associated hardware. And then two brackets that will actually mount to the front of the tunnel that are used not only to secure the tunnel to the rail, but also can be used for tightening or loosening depending on the tightness of the uh, tunnel. We've taken all the parts out, laid them on the table, plus we've gotten a couple of uh, A-clamps, springy A-clamps, to help us uh, easily put on the side rails. Absolutely. Now, David, how do you know which side uh, rail goes on which side? Well, I read the instructions, and it says right here, driver's side. Wow, that's handy. And then this end is the back end of the rail also, the back end of the truck, so this should be easy to put on. So this is the side rail, and what I'm going to do is take the weather strip and put it right up against the bed, and slide it all the way forward, and the Velcro is going to be on a 45 degree angle. Rick, would you please put one of the A-clamps as far forward as possible? Absolutely, and I'm also going to make sure the rail is flush with the sides before the brackets are installed. Rick, here are the three brackets for the driver's side. And, uh, no offense, but the nut is always towards the inside of the bed. Got it. Where you are. You're also going to push it as far forward as possible for the first uh, clamp location. The second clamp is in the middle, and the third clamp is all the way at the back. And we have an alcohol pad. So what you're gonna wanna do is clean the back of the bed, just the top of it where we're gonna put the front seal. Now the front seal doesn't really say which way to go, so the L shape is towards the rear with the sticky uh, adhesive on the bottom. So if you can stretch that across, and I'm gonna start on my side, if you can peel that out of there, and then we'll trim it on the other side. So we're placing it right up against the railing. Yep. And I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this excess with this simple pair of scissors. And tuck it in, there you go, perfect. That should help. Okay, so we've got the tonneau cover here, and I'm just gonna lay it right up down on the bed. Now, you might wonder which way it goes, so I'm laying it on the bed this way, where the straps go forward, and this piece kind of flips out this way. So that's the way you wanna lay it initially. Now there's two nuts in here, and you don't want two nuts on one side. You wanna just unsnap this, slide one nut over to the other side, to the outside, so you've got one of the trapped square nuts on each side. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our attention adjusters. And you'll notice in reading the instructions, there's a longer hex bolt and a shorter hex bolt. On these, we're gonna use the longer hex bolt with a washer, and we're gonna go ahead and look at the adjuster. What I like about these is, is that they actually have a little L and a little R on them. I see my R, so I've got the right side. That's correct. I'm gonna take that longer hex bolt with a washer, and let's go ahead and just finger tighten these into the rail, into that nut that we just slid down, and we can go ahead and put the rail on the truck. So we've got the tonneau almost ready to install. What's next, Rick? Well, we want to make sure that, that uh, this front seal, when you do put this forward and lay this rail down, that this is folded under the rail, which is going to add to the water resistancy of the cover itself. So let's roll it on over and make sure the seal is all the way down. Yep. And I'm going to just slide this forward, slide over my tension adjuster, Line up the holes and I'm going to install my hardware. I'm 
I'm also going to make sure, David, when I look at this front rail, before we tighten this up, I want to make sure that it's kind of centered. You'll notice there's just a small gap in this, and I want to make sure the gap on both sides is going to be the same. Let's go ahead and install those nuts and tighten it up. Now I'm going to use the same half inch socket, but I went ahead and got a boxed end wrench to hold the nut on the rail and so I can tighten it up and it doesn't turn. Tighten it on the rail first and then make sure I tighten the adjuster underneath. Okay, Rick, now that we've got it fastened at the front, let's roll it out and see how it fits. And then you come around and just drop it in and pop it tight. Next thing he's gonna do is we're gonna pick it up, the sides up, and then pull the Velcro out and settle it down. Boy, that looks nice. That looks really nice. The next step is we're going to close the tailgate carefully and to make sure it doesn't hit. If it does hit, you have to adjust the rails upward. So you undo a couple clamps, raise it up. So let's do this. Perfect. And the neat thing about it is you can't open the tonneau cover unless the tailgate's open. So the tailgate's locked, the tonneau cover's locked. That's smart. And if you want to open the tonneau cover, how do you do that, David? Well, you pull this little string right here, which unlatches it, and then you roll it up. Simple. And just keep on rolling it. So we've got a couple straps at the front I want to show you how they work. You just unclip this, clip it up here, and you can adjust the tightness of it, even if you want it to be up in the air like that. So now tell me about the adjusters, Rick. Well, the adjusters are unique in the fact that if the tonneau doesn't happen to be tight enough, you can simply adjust those, and no tools are needed with simply your finger and your thumb by basically tightening the little rail. Rick, my Ford pickup truck here is fantastic, but this really adds another dimension of usability to the truck, and I'm really happy that our customers don't have to be confused anymore about when they go out to find a tonneau cover for their truck. They can look through a thousand of them, don't know where they're made, don't know who made them. Absolutely.